It's going to take a little bit. Alright, cool. Alright, so, um, cool. This is, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed. How do I pronounce your name? I don't know how to pronounce it. I would just call you K, I guess. Or if you'd like to be called something else, I'm perfectly fine. So, K, Kiloi, uh, <clears throat> I don't K is okay, okay, I can just call you K then, alright, alright, cool, cool, alright, so this is K, uh, thank you for agreeing to be interviewed, um, yeah, okay, cool, uh, so I guess first question, generally, is just like, if you'd like to introduce yourself, K, that'll be fine, in text, and then we'll get started, we'll get started with the questions, Okay, you're, uh, so K, K, is, K says that they're Clo, they're 18, and they're French. Cool. All right. Are you, um, are you, um, wait, what are your pronouns? Do you have any? She, her? All right, so I'm assuming you're like a woman or girl, whatever. All right, cool. Do you have a sexuality? Pansexual? Is that what you mean when you say pan? Okay. Alright, cool. I met a couple of pansexuals. This is the one where you guys uh, date. There's no preference with gender, like male, female, etc. Is that what it is? I just want to clarify that. Okay. Cool, cool. All right, all right. Let me hit you with the K-pop. All right, so uh, I found you from a uh, Twitter, um, K or Clo, whatever. Um, so I guess uh, would you like to talk to me about your Twitter usage? Uh, how uh, per day? Uh, how many hours do you think you use Twitter for? Half of a day, so uh, 12 hours? Holy shoot. You mean 12 hours? <laughs> or you mean like 8 hours or something? Less maybe? Less than 12? Less than 8? You're really active on Twitter. Oh, shoot. Well, right now it's the holiday or for you. Okay, is that why you're active right now? You're less active when it's like not the holiday and stuff. You got stuff to do. Okay. We said you're 18, so I'm assuming you're you either graduated or you're going to go into secondary school or college or you're going to go into your last year or whatever. All right. I don't know how it works. Break works because I'm assuming you're not American, so maybe it doesn't follow the normal American school schedule. So, okay. All right. Oh, you're in college. Okay. Um. All right. So you say you're really active on uh Twitter, so, and you use it for like probably more than two hours per day, I assume. Maybe. What do you do on Twitter? You talk about random things. And K-pop and K-H. What is K-H-H? -H? 
Is that K-pop or something else? Because I don't know. Just like hip hop, but in Korean. Oh, K hip hop, Korean hip hop. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so do you remember when you uh, when you got when you started on Twitter, like when you got onto Twitter first time? Twenty nineteen. Okay, like two years ago, maybe. All right. You know why you uh, you went onto Twitter? It was for anime and manga. Why specifically Twitter for anime and manga? Friends interested in anime and manga similar to you? Okay. And did you find friends? You've been on Twitter for two years now. You find anyone that's interested in that? Like close friends? You have? You still talk to them? Okay, cool. Alright, and when you joined in uh, 2019, were you into K-pop? Oh, shoot, that's pretty cool. That's neat. No? When did you get into K-pop? January, you have an exact date for it? <laughs> exact month, too? <laughs> what, what, what happened what, on that, on that uh, moment? How, what, what happened? What made you like say, oh, shoot, this music's like really cool and epic and stuff. I don't know. This music's pretty swag. Oh, man, I should listen to it more. Like, what, what, uh, what was so appealing about K-pop? In 2015, K says that they're already interested in uh, Korean hip hop. And then in 2020, a friend uh, told them to listen to a group called NCT. All right. And that was the start. And you really liked NCT's music. Um, You say you're, not, you're French. Um, so... Has the uh, language barrier of like Korean hip hop, since it's probably in Korean, right? Has that really affected the way you listen, or do you have listen to translations, or how do you? Um, there's a language barrier, kind of, and you know, I don't know. Does that affect the way you listen? No, the language doesn't bother you. Okay. Because um, uh, I guess uh, personally for me, like I don't know, I don't really listen to music like Spanish because I don't know Spanish. Uh, or like I don't know. Um, I guess K-pop too because I don't really listen to that. Um, because it's in Korean. Oh, and in Korean hip hop, there are a lot of English lyrics. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, have you ever listened to? K-pop or Korean hip-hop with French lyrics, because you say you're French, right? I'm assuming that that's like your main, your primary language. You prefer English lyrics?
In K-pop music, there are no French words, but just like one, two, three in French, so... Uh, wait, what do you mean by, uh, but just like one, two, three? Uh, is that a song, or use that? you're using it as an example? Oh, there are no French lyrics. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, by the way, um, do you want me to link your Twitter account in the description of the video or no? If you want, I don't. I don't know what that means. Well, I don't know. Like you're, so you don't really care. Is that what you? Is that what you mean? You're okay with? You don't care, okay. Alright. Um, okay, so how many followers do you have on Twitter? Four hundred forty followers. Cool. How many, uh, how many people do you follow on Twitter? Three hundred sixty-nine. Okay. How did you get four hundred forty followers? Was it just through making friends and following people, and then they followed you? Was it like that? Yeah, so like that. I follow the account. That seems cool, and I guess it's like that for other people. Oh, probably yeah. And you just build it up uh, over like uh, as you continue being more and more active on Twitter, I guess. Cool. Do you ever wish for a uh, viral tweet? Are you a clout chaser? Not really. Okay, K says not really. We just like your mutuals on Twitter. When you say mutuals, what do you mean by that? People that follow you and you follow them? Is that what you mean when you say mutuals? Okay. I see that a lot. Okay. Talk to them and stuff. Okay. Cool. Um, okay, so I guess on your Twitter account, there's, you put your pronouns, I think, like she, her, probably, and then there's, like, little something else, like, little something next to that. Can you, is that, like, can you explain what that is? There's, like, an I, there's, like, an, it begins with an I, and there's something next to that. Do you know, can you explain what that is? Yeah, INTP, what does that mean? like your personality there are 16 personalities is it huh, I think it's the I think I've heard of it like I think I've done it myself the Briggs Meyer personality test like Briggs something starts with a B and it just like at the end of the test you, you take all you answer all the questions and then you uh, you get like your select personality based on the questions that you answered Yep, and you took the test. And you got INTP. Well, what does that what does that mean? So, what does that suggest about your personality? Do 
You're an introvert. You like to organize and to understand people. I don't really know all the, the definitions. With like an introvert who likes to stay at home, ha huh, ha. Huh. Okay. So when you say organize, you mean organize messy stuff? Like you see something messy, like okay, I want to clean it up, organize it. I don't know, you organize your room, organize bookshelves, organize, organize uh, bed, I don't know. No? What do you mean by that? Organize your decisions. Oh, okay. All right. So, like, um, actually, I don't know what that means. <laughs> to be fair, I don't think I'm very, I don't like to organize my decisions. I just sort of make them on the fly. Do you, like, think about your decisions when you're going to make them? Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, you, you, you think through them or you, you overthink them or something like that. I don't know. Or you think through them and be like, wait, so does this make sense, really? Overthinker. Oh, okay. Yeah. What about um? You like to under to understand people. You're um. Do you mean you want to be like if someone is um if someone is feeling sad, like your friend, you'll try to understand why they're sad. Are you like empathetic? Empathetic empathy. I think it's that. Are you sympathetic or? You try to see what other people's point of views. But not really. I want to understand why, who people think. I'm assuming that means that's why, not who. Why people think. Oh, how people think. So are, are you more like, uh, I'm not sure, that's giving me like psychologist vibes, psychology vibes, like you want to understand how humans behave and stuff like that, uh, that's, that's what I got from that. Yes, like that, okay. By the way, uh, speaking of psychology, we're gonna, I'm gonna hop back to the, to the college thing, uh, do you know what you're studying for in college, like what, what you're going for? Oh, your um, language, languages, language degree, something like that. Cool. English and Japanese, huh? Cool. Is that for, you don't know what job you're going to get regarding that? You're just uh, trying to get a degree in those two? Or do you have a certain job in mind? No, you want to go abroad? I'm assuming that means abroad. Okay, cool. 
And to the question where I said, if you have a certain job in mind, no, you don't have a certain job in mind. You just want to go abroad, like Japan and America and other places. Nice. Well, Japan seems like a beautiful place. America's kinda, if you go to like the national parks and stuff. You know, learn the culture and stuff, you know. You want to go to Japan? Oh, man. Cool. Okay. All right, pretty interesting. All right. Um, all right. So back to Twitter. So, all right. Um, I guess, uh, do you have any, um, K-pop bands or Korean hip hop bands you'd recommend to anyone who wants to get into it? Similar to how your friend recommended you and NCT. Oh, sure, you're probably typing a long list. <laughs> yes, NCT, Vuitton, and Monster X for K-pop and for for Monster X. So, NCT, Vuitton, and Monster X for K-pop and for KH. There's a lot of artists, but Dean, PH, Dot One, Big Naughty. All right, so NCT is a band. You said that is Vic Vuitton a band? Okay, and then Monster X is also a band or one person. Okay, and then for KHH, is Dean PH1 one thing or is Dean soloist? Oh, it's another one. So is soloist a band as well? Or group? No, one person? Oh, Dean is alone. Okay, so Dean is a Dean is a, is a single is a singer, just one person. They're all one person. Like uh, no, like uh, not. I mean, like they're all not all of them are connected, but like they're all one singer singing it. Like uh, uh okay, PH one is also a singer. Oh, is this Korean hip hop, not K pop? Okay, I just want to make sure. Big naughty. So, uh, I'm sure there's like different, sure that in Korea, uh, there's different genres. So Korean pop, Korean hip hop. Do you, do you have an, do you just like those two Korean hip hop and Korean pop? What feeling do you get when you listen to their music? You also mentioned Dean. Dean is also on solo. Oh, so, okay. I thought that was a band. Okay. All right. I was just asking you if you um if you feel anything listening to K-pop or hip, uh Korean hip hop, like hype. Do you work out when you listen to the music? Do you listen to it when you game, or do you just use it to vibe or chill? What purpose do you use the music for?
It depends on the mood of some, but yes, I use some of for exercises. And for chill. Or just for video games. Okay. You sing to any of them? Do you sing, like, you know, sing to them or do you dance to any? No? Don't know how? Okay. Have you learned, like, um, have you picked up on the Korean language by listening to some of the uh, music? Like, have you just learned some words to, to say and know what they mean? Just some word, but you don't speak Korean at all. Okay. Do you have a favorite band? K-pop band and favorite Korean hip-hop band? NCT, Monster X, Victon, and a tease for... K-pop, okay. The tease is a singer or a band? Assuming that's a band. Or a boy band, as they call it. For KHH, I don't know. Okay. I don't know if this is a band or a singer, so let's put singer slash band. Okay. Thanks. Um. So, uh, do you listen to a mix of uh, girl bands and boy bands? Or what you listen to is mostly boy bands. No, it's just boy bands? Okay. And, um... Alright. I don't want to interrupt you. Just keep going. Listen to girls as well? Okay. Do you... You consider yourself a stan on Twitter of K-pop and Korean hip-hop? Is that is that right? Yes, that's right. Do you know what stan means? when you support an artist or a band oh so definition really has changed um you must have heard of you must have heard of like it's like a fan that kind of sounds, sounds like a fan but instead you add an st to it, which is interesting because uh the original definition you must know probably that means like stalker fan like a super fan but you probably aren't that i assume In K-pop, for that fan, we say, oh, I can't pronounce that, <laughs> Sussing, Sussing, <laughs> Sassin, <laughs> oh, I can't, when, what is it, that, that means stalker fan, Sassin, that's, that means stalker fan, wow, because when people refer to Stan, people think of stalker fan, like uh, just Stan in general. But I guess Stan has replaced fan. I've only seen that on Twitter. Is that really the case? They step in front of the dorm and stalk the members. Oh, as oh. But you're just like a regular fan. But you can, but you consider yourself just Stan, not fan. 
Oh. You know, do you know, uh, why, um, oh, actually, no. I was going to ask, like, uh, why you consider yourself, like, why, when did you pick up the word stand and you start using it, like, you call yourself a stand online? Is that just, like, a, it happened because people around you were saying it or something else? Yes, yeah, because when you listen to the group and you support them, we don't say fan, but stand, but you don't know. It just seems kind of weird. I'm not sure when when the when it picked it up, why specifically they use stand instead of fan. I guess it's sort of maybe just in French. Uh, I don't know. It seems pretty, uh, seems pretty, I guess, across all K-pop fans, a lot of them call themselves uh, stands, I guess. I guess people uh, may sometimes confuse that with the stalker fan, because that's what it originally means. You consider um, the uh, K- the K-pop uh, fandom on Twitter toxic? Yeah. Oh shoot. You don't think so? Toxic, the toxic fans are the one who bullies the other part of the community and body shame the members and sta- and stuffs. Uh, and you and say that's like a very small part of the community. That's for you. Uh, it's, your, it's your view on it. Well, um, I guess you can type out your response. I'm going to go eat lunch. I'm not sure how much time you have for the interview. So, um, I'll just, I'll stay on the call, I guess, but I'll stop recording. I don't know how much time you have. Okay. I mean, it's fine. I don't want to take up your time either. So I'll, I'll be back probably, I don't know, like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm not sure. I don't know. You can just do whatever. I don't know. All right, I'll mute myself now and stop recording.